Time to overwhelm ya. Yes, good looking. <sighs> Ti stavo cercando. Mi è stato chiesto di consegnarti una cosa personalmente. Vediamo un po'. Pare proprio di sì. Ora devo andare. Non sei di queste parti, vero? Scommetto che sei qui per la pesca. Thing, or will be once he ascends to his throne. Before too long, I'll be able to rightly claim that I forged the scepter that reforged the kingdom. Easy now. Oh, step away from the High King, nice and slow. Will not be bought by Imperial Gold, you scheming slaughterfish. I'm the High King, not some milk swilling yarl. We will not be bought by Imperial Gold, you scheming slaughterfish! I'm the High King! Not some milk swilling yarl! That's how the Stormcloaks got- Wait. Now I see! You're paying your taxes to the Crown! You're a wise hawker. A wise ruler admits when he's been mistaken. And so I do. I'm sorry. I'll forgive you for- Misassociating the quality of my raiment for the illustriousness of my station. On to be the next High King of Skyrim! Easy now. Step away from the High King. Nice and slow. Well, of course! I'm your next High King! It's my job to listen to my subjects, worker. Now, tell me. How can your High King serve ya? Need? Okay! Okay! I'm a septum, dammit! And I'm to be the next High King, and I have made! So, yes, I'm quite alright, thank you very much. I want you to think very carefully about your next m move <coughs> and how exactly ill fits into it. Aye, and you've read all the annals, have you? 
Did you know the Emperor is secretly an Argonian? They're all Argonians. They think that we can't see them. But I can. I can. Do you know who my great, great, grandfather, mother, father was? What am I saying? Of course you don't. Well, it was Tiger Septum himself. So you see, I have blood rights to rule Skyrim. Why, I could even have a claim on the whole of the Empire. <laughs> I'm not a greedy soul, though. I'm contented to rule Skyrim. Leave the Empire to the Fox and Cyrodiil, I say. Never fear, though. My claim goes beyond my 3% Talos' blood. I've also got, uh, these. 38 separate writs of support from common and noblemen alike. Nobles like, uh, Brad Nguyen of, White, uh, of Whiterun. A noble soul indeed. According to this nice fellow I met in Markarth Warrens, I only need two more writs, and then it's off to Solitor to claim my castle. Soon. Well, go on. Get out of here. <coughs> go tell Balamon his king needs a breastplate stretcher. Easy now. Step away. Champion Skyrim's people. Not the Nords alone, but Skyrim's. I crafted a High King Scepter. I am his sword and his shield. Orc strongholds are more or less as is Thane. My job will be to bring Orcish concerns before the throne. See that might even gather a following. Form a stronghold of my own. Proper chieftain. In time. Wrong answer. Faithless waste. Bet the face sculptor at the flagon could make your ears nice and pointy. Maybe then you could catch a pretty witch elf maid.
insulted that poor fetcher in cold blood. Might watch my back. Let's make this simple. It all comes down to blood and gold. I run what you might call a salute to the glory days. A proper arena. Yes. Most of the money comes from a crowd of regulars and gamblers. Most fights are low-stakes wages. On talented lads who won't be missed. Then there's the Blacklist. Ten of Tamriel's most dangerous. And most insane. Blacklist duels guarantee huge crowds and massive gambling. Prove your metal to the crowds by spilling unworthy blood. Earn more wins than the next fighter on the blacklist. Earn a duel with them. Come with me. I'll show you. Here's the arena itself, the cauldron of blood and gold. A lot of unworthy blood been spilled here. I already have been spilled. And look there, seems we're just in time to catch a match between two opals. Might be worth a watch, since you'll be bleeding. I'd hardly call whatever that was the most exciting fight I've ever seen. Yes. Ask away. Not at all. They barely acknowledge my existence. Oh, I... Let's say... Acquired it from somewhere. The dead don't need armor, do they? Ask away. I have all... This is part of old Riften. Not very long ago, there was a Jarl named Two Daggers. He wasn't liked overmuch. Naturally, the good citizens of Riften set his palace ablaze. It spread, nearly burning the entire town down. So, they rebuilt the city on top of the rubble. Life goes on. Even after you destroy your own city, it seems. Ask away. I have... Here, it is a ranking of the ten best arena fighters in all of Tamriel. Being on the blacklist brings with it certain privileges. You can always check your standings on the wall over by the arena. Ask away. Long ago, in another life, I was a respectable member of society. Son of one of Morrowind's great houses. One bad day is all it takes, really. Then your enemies encircle you, and your life isn't your own anymore. The Dunmer Way, I suppose. Nothing left for me there, I fled to Skyrim. Proud land of plenty. My ears weren't round enough, though. So I was herded with the other cattle to Windhelm, for the Nords to mock and make sport of. I made my fortune in the long-lamented Windhelm Arena. I had much greater ambitions. The Windhelm pits closed, of course. When I heard about the buried ruins of old Riften, though, everything came together. I rebuilt this place with the money I'd put by. It took me a few years, but here it is. Mortality is not leaving legacies. Ask away. I have all the answers. 
Most of those on offer are stray dogs, fools, and folk drunk on their own shadow side. Unworthy blood, all of them. Worthy blood, like yours, comes along every now and again. Some even stays on the inside. Most are here by choice, but circumstance often makes choice irrelevant. When strays start coming around, I have... Let's call them recruiters, all over Scotland. Ask away. I have... Yes. At least as long as they both pay me. Ask away. In the arena, concepts like good and evil give way to survival. Think on this. On the right, a Nord bearing Talos' symbol proudly. On the left, an Altmer who believes himself a child of the Eight. Place both of them into a cage that's too small and there will be one left in the morning, claiming that good has triumphed and evil has been defeated. Right and wrong matters to them, surely. It does at first, at least. As the fight goes on, however, life is what matters to them. I had a feeling you might say that. Your rise to your rightful place begins tomorrow night. Of course, of course. Come by between 8 and 11 at night and I'll arrange everything. Straight swords, sand or stone. You can stop a man's breath with almost anything. Everything is a weapon, even the wind. I am a soldier, ex legion. I fight because that is what I do, who I am. Man, me, lizard, cat, I don't care. Their eyes all ask the same things as they choke on their own blood. How did this happen? Must I die? It doesn't matter. I kill people for money. That's all that matter. Gold and glory, as Zanath says. And he is correct. I wanted to slay dragons or a knight of honor and steal on a white camel, leaving the world better than I found. Boyer's dream. The Legion taught me hard truth. Causes can be honorable. People rarely are. War, rock killing, these things dress in glory, never honor. You haven't heard? They're being haunted by someone with ancient dragon blood. It's like the old tale. Some are destined to change the world. Cradle dead. I wouldn't worry that not were I you. You have a glorious destiny. No matter which of us stops your breath, you will make the crowd cheer. As you wish.
spilling of unworthy blood as two pit themselves against one another for gold and glory. Why don't you need Mercy. No something. Challenges from Honor Hall to show you. To do. Shall be spilled. I'd hardly call whatever that was the most exciting fight I've ever seen. Another step on the way to the inevitable, mate. 
golden glory await. Well, one of your peers had an unfortunate accident on the water. Boating can be so treacherous, can't it? It does leave an open slot. Here we are. You're at number 10 on the blacklist now. Time to earn your name. The crowd wants blood and never mind whose. Win or bleed. Oh, and number 9 has already challenged you to a duel. Flamia doesn't like what she calls uh, upstarts. Flamia is an ex-imperial battle mage. Let that sink in. Just think on it. An imperial battle mage. Right out in the open. No rules, think no, be law, no iron bars once you've washed your feet like and heard blood. To me. Battle mages, forces of nature. In war, they can lay waste whole swaths of the enemy. Counter entire ranged units all by their lonesome. It's perfect for us. I'd never send an ordinary combatant against her. They'd be slaughtered. But you, your place in history's assured. It's all arranged, mate. You've both got a few days to prepare. Come back in a few days. Mind you, don't go getting yourself arrested between now and then. My faith would be shattered if you don't show. Me can't believe how astonishing all these places may visit. All right, hero. Night. I hear you're about to face down the great and terrible Flamia. I might have some insights into that worthy's mind. Right then, Look that's you. settled. Uh, Zareth told you Flamia is a retired Imperial battle mage, eh? Aye, well, that's the key. Now here's the door. <laughs> a few months ago, her company liberated a largely Donmar settlement from the Stormcloaks. Unfortunately, the Stormcloaks uh, salted Narn as they retreated. If they couldn't have the town's resources, well, war is like that, not my business. Story goes, enemy commanders were shoving folk back in their houses, blocking up the doors and setting fires to thatched roofs. It's an old trick, easy distraction. The Legion should have been too busy saving citizens to give real chase, I doubt the Stormcloaks expected. Flamia erupted. Must have reminded her of old Thalmor brutality from the Great War. She broke rank and loosed her rage as a firestorm. Fire doesn't care who it devours, though, does it? When the battle was over, the Stormcloaks were dead or fled, so that's something. Unfortunately, she and her company had to rediscover an old axiom. Friendly fire isn't. It's a lesson that killed eight of her fellows. She was encouraged to retire after that little escapade. Too unstable a mind and no longer fit for duty. Her journal's wonderful. You'll find her most nights at the Bee and Barb. Drinking with her old friends and boon companions, sorrow and regret. Strike up a conversation with her. Remind her of the bad old days. Might be fun. Oh, chances are I have exactly what you need. Oh, Hala's not the only herb handler in the gate. The Green Pact has its taboos, right enough. I translate that word differently than most. Taboos are just dangerous opportunities. I can't imagine being a tree thane pays very well, so I doubt I'll ever meet one. Besides, one can't live one's life based on rumors. So, I can't imagine being a tree thane pays very well, so I doubt I'll ever meet one. Besides, one can't live one's life based on rumors. So... You could say that, I suppose. I purvey Valenwood's recreational fruits to discerning persons all across Nern. Eh, 
The deal with Xanath went bad. My supply of mushrooms sprouted wings along the road. He's making me fight to pay off my debt. Let's just say every septum counts. Don't worry about my woes. Let's get you a liquid horse to ride. Well, my supply lines have been cut just at the moment. But I should think we can find something to suit you out of my current stock. certain we'll see each other again. You always come back to me. Yes. <laughs>